Hey guys, this is Teacher Elo, and I'm here to help you write about you with free time. Today we will learn questions about free time activities and how to write a short paragraph. So free time activities, what are those? Free time is hobbies, activities for fun, and it's time that you're not working. So anything you do when you're not getting paid or you're doing something fun like a vacation or something on the weekend. Here are some free time questions we will practice today. Number one, what do you do in your free time? Number two, what do you usually do on the weekend? Number three, who do you see on the weekend? Okay, so first question, what do you do in your free time? I go hiking with my friends. I watch movies. I like to read. I enjoy doing exercise. Okay, so these four sentences are examples and we see the last two are a little special. I like and I enjoy. So let's look at those two examples. Like and enjoy. So we can use these words to help answer these questions because somebody's asking you about what do you like what do you do what is normal for you so you can use these two words and when you use like you have two choices you can say like with a gerund remember a gerund is a verb plus ing for example i like running or you can use like with an infinitive. Infinitive means to plus the base form of the verb. That means the verb with no ending, no ing, no s. For example, I like to run. Okay, so like has two options. It's your choice, whatever you think is easier for you. I like running, I like to run. All right, the next one with enjoy is enjoy plus a gerund. All right, so a gerund is, like we said, a verb plus ing, but there's no option. Okay, so here you can only say this style, only I enjoy running. So it is not okay to say, I enjoy to run. It's not correct. If you make the mistake, it's okay, especially if you're talking. But if you want to speak correctly, it's enjoy plus the gerund. Okay, second question. What do you usually do on the weekend? Okay, we do have the word usually. This is a common question with free time because usually means we're describing the time, right? So usually is normally, most of the time, 80 or 90% of the time. So you're saying not always, but almost always. So it's very common for you. Okay, so again, the question, what do you usually do on the weekend? I usually practice soccer. I usually visit my parents. I usually see my friends on Saturday and cook a big dinner on Sunday. Okay, so we see the first two sentences are very short, very simple. And the last one is much bigger, 
But you can see what we did is we said the two days separated, right? On the weekend is Saturday and Sunday. So on this one, I said, I usually see my friends on Saturday and cook a big dinner on Sunday. So I just separated the days to give you more details and it makes the sentence or the idea much bigger. Okay, the third sentence or the third question, who do you see on the weekend? Who is a person, right? So a person or people. So I see my friends. I hang out with my brother. I spend time with my family. Okay, so again, these are three examples of how you can uh, explain that question. You can use the word see, hang out. Hang out is more informal, it's more casual. So it's like taking time with your friends. And the last one, spend time. That also means to take time. Um, and we use that a lot in English, spend time, um, which is more of a money term, but we use it to explain the time. All right, so now you can use all those three answers to write a paragraph. Okay, I do have another video about how to write a paragraph, so you can watch that one too. That one will help you practice this. But today, if you're writing, we're just going to write our three sentences. And the first thing is to write the indent. And the indent means no writing. Right? You have a space at the beginning of the first sentence. And let me read it to you. It says, I ride my bicycle and play guitar in my free time. On the weekend, I usually do exercise with my friends and cook a big breakfast. I see my parents on Sunday. Okay, so that paragraph is very short, but it's easy to understand. You have three sentences, but it's good practice. Okay, so if you want, you can write your paragraph in the comments and I can respond to you later. Okay, so I hope you've learned something today. Thank you so much for listening and practicing with me. And like always, thank you for your time.